Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker here. It is Saturday, February 3rd, 2018, and I'm back for another video for you guys. I Stay tuned. At the end of this, I do have a silver pickup. Yeah, it took forever to come in. The other one still hasn't shipped yet. I'm going to have to check with the uh, uh, eBay seller on that one. It was a reputable uh, dealer, I think. But uh, anyway, uh, without further ado, um, I've been pretty busy. Uh, this past week, I had uh, we got new smartphones. Our batteries were just spent on the old ones, and the, we've had the old ones for about four years. I think that's a long time to make a smartphone last, so I'm recording this video with my new smartphone. But transferring all the data over in the apps and all that kind of stuff, I really use mine a lot. I've got a password app. I've got... I keep notes and everything on it, and, you know, I just have a lot of information on it, and you just have to make sure you have the information safeguarded, backed up, and password protected, which I do, but that was, I got it all transferred. I thought there was a problem with my phone. I had to go back to the store, and turns out there were a couple of apps on there that were getting in the way of other apps, and so I couldn't get my ringtones, and, well, it's all fixed now. So, anyway, but last Sunday... I decided to take a little ride. I invited my mom to go with me, and uh, I was out of cast iron. I put I have put six listings up since, I think, November, late October, and they're all sold except for one. And cast iron has done real well for me. Um, it's, you know, I know how to restrip it and season it and pack it and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of one of my niche areas, but you can't always find it. Um, I've got one remaining, and it just has to find the right buyer, but it's a very unique pe unique piece, kind of a pricey piece, so it'll be there. Maybe it'll be there for a little while. Um, but at any rate, I did find a couple of them. Mom actually found them, and I checked them over, and I'll go ahead and show you um, those in just a minute. But before that, we went to a couple of antique shops, and the first antique shop that I've always found a lot of cast iron at didn't really have anything of interest. It was either overpriced, overpriced meaning if it was a number three and they wanted $30 for it, and that's what they're going for on eBay, um, that really had no profit potential. So I passed it up. I've already got three of them myself. If I can get them cheaper and restrip them and season them, um, I love to do that as a hobby of mine, and I love to sell them. So that's what I look for. So we passed that up. Now what you're looking at here are... Um, we went to a different antique store and we actually found these as well and we run into these a lot but they're really really pricey this, these are Pyrex primary color stacking mixing bowls and these you really don't see too often they're they're kind of I don't know if you call them rare but you don't see them too often and they have clear bottoms and this is a small one it is a I believe I have to try to read it here I think it is a one, one quart, one liter. It says one liter. Corning USA. Anything that says made in the USA on it is pretty much vintage because all the new stuff is made in China. It needs to be washed out, but it's like new condition. Awesome. So that's the red one. They have a middle one here, which is a yellow, a bright yellow. And this one is, let me take a look. It's safe for microwave and the dishwasher or it says for oven and microwave no stove top or broiler but I'm going to wash them out by hand just to make doubly sure Maybe a little bit of lint on them and so forth um, so we have those and then the bottom one is a royal blue just gorgeous piece just gorgeous when I saw these I think they had a price tag of 21 or 22 something like that and um, that wasn't even that bad because you can flip these you'll you can sell them for probably like 40 to 60 somewhere in there on eBay based on my research these are in tip-top condition so I can ask for a little bit more you know because they're in really good condition but I only paid 16 because that particular vendor in that spot in the antique mall um, was having a 20% off sale so I couldn't pass those up. So next up, uh, we did find some cast iron, and uh, I'll sh let you see. I had a couple of skillets here, and the first one, well, I'll show you the bigger one, bigger of the two. Uh, this one here, you can't, it's really not marked on the handle. Usually you see a number there, 
and but it's in good shape it's got it, this really isn't rust it's just a little bit of crud and just old seasoning and hasn't been used in a long time but it's not covered in rust and there's no pitting that I could see on this and it pretty much sits flat and it has a heat ring on the back and it's a five and it just got some crust and which will be stripped off very easily in the lye bath and I really wanted to get the video made so I could throw it into my lye bath and anybody that wants to know what a lye bath is it's one pound of crystal crystals and you put the water in first and then you throw in the crystals and uh, stir it up and it could go for a year if you have uh, 10 gallons of water then you want to put in uh, uh, two pounds of lye crystals so pure lye has to be 100% lye but anyway this is a uh, uh, older piece before 1960 it doesn't say made in the USA on it after 1960 by law they had to say it it's got a heat ring the heat ring was actually useful for those old stoves that had the inset um, rings on the stove so the pan would actually sit down in it so a five would actually match up to a five on the stove so you could actually put it in there and it would be a cooktop surface but these work on a flat glass cooktop as well and this is a Birmingham stove and range known as a BSNR and it's you got the you got the heat ring you got the small um, gravy pours or, or pour pouring spouts on the, the pan and then of course you have the handle which does look like um, common of uh, Birmingham Stove and Range. That's out, actually out of Alabama. And they made these for department stores, but that's a good quality pan. And I paid, I think, uh, nine bucks for it. So couldn't, couldn't go wrong picking that up. That, that should fetch 30 or so, if not more, on eBay. The next up, I paid, uh, let's see, nine for that one, seven for this one. This is a number three can't see it on the handle it's unmarked here but if you flip it over on the back it is a number three it is model number 1031 and has a heat ring again it's going to inset in the stove that's what they were made for um, probably back in the early 1900s and then the handle is a Griswold so this is an unmarked Griswold it's in excellent condition minimal rust it sits flat, minimal wobble, sits flat, doesn't spin. Uh, I tested them both, and they just need to be restripped and reseasoned, and we're good to go on those. So anyway, got those to work on. And then I also have a silver order, so um, I started to open it, and then I realized there was an issue with the last video, so I just went ahead and started over again. Uh, but this one is, I think Mr. V put this up. Uh, invoice in there we don't really don't need to see that these are the 40 millimeter uh, it's nice that they send them in a little box like that they won't shake around I like that but mr. V put up an alert that these were available these are by lighthouse uh, to fit a certain coin that I'm going to show you now so I got these for that coin and here is my priority mailer box. Finally came. I paid for it by check. It takes forever. So I'm going to try to open it here. They really packaged this up. Okay, let me see if I can get into that. Boy, it's really... Okay. That's what I don't like to do unboxings. And I can never get them open more quick, quickly enough. Gonna use the Laura Blade knife and cut away from myself, cut the corner so I can get this down. That is a sharp knife. So here it is. Whoops, that's just packing material. I can use that. And then we have uh, the receipt in there, so I'll put that aside. And we have a. Let me see if I can get the get into this without. Okay. <laughs> Boy, sometimes these are hard to get open and I don't want to tear anything. All right, I'm going to pause the video. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I ordered the 
Zsin Gallius. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Um, and they sent these two per flip, which I don't like. I think it was Losing Louis that showed that when he got his from Gainesville Coins, but this did come from Gainesville Coins. They appear to be okay. I ordered seven of them. And they come in these, they came in these flips. They seem to be okay. And I kind of like these. The first issue and low mintage, I think it was mintage was 30,000 and something. I'm trying to remember. But I ordered seven. I'll probably end up eventually selling five of them, keeping a couple. Always like to do that. I don't like to buy too many of these in case they flop. But. And then they're 999 silver. You can see, you can see that right above the Comsco there. 999. Upside down, it looks like 666. Kind of freaky. But these are the Republic of Korea. And they look pretty good. Um, I don't, I'm not crazy about two per flip. But that's what these uh, capsules are for. So I'm going to pause this. And I'm going to show you what they look like in the capsule. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I got this open. I'm starting to get these out. I had to get my gloves out, and I'm inspecting these. Seems to be okay. And I really like the design of these. Um, I hope they do well. And there's another one coming out. So, Mr. V, if you're watching this, I got a notification from Gainesville. They're going to have a couple new issues coming out from the Republic of Korea. One has a really cool tiger on it. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that one if I get the time, but if you go to it, if you if you got the uh, email to it. And there is another release. I'm trying to remember. Again, that one looks okay too. And they all seem to have that uh, at 12 o'clock noon on the coin right under the Republic of Korea. There's a little uh, crinkle spot on the mask. But I think uh, that's part of the design. I notice these things now. Just uh, you hit cringe uh, buying some of these things. Coins, collector coins that are going to have issues later. I know a lot of people have been putting up videos. Um, Silver Wolverine put up a video about spotting or issues with um, the what coin was it now I'm trying to remember oh the w Rwanda coins in general with the with the flips they send them in or, or actually the, the mint comes in I um, really like these though these are these are great I like the way they package those um, keeps the capsules from bouncing around um, Terrific. I may order more of those. I thought the price was right. Um, I think it was free shipping on eBay. See if they have any more. And these coins, as you probably already know by now, have a shiny edge to them. Not sure if I like that because you really can't pick them up with uh, ungloved fingers. But uh, anyway... But back to the other, uh, the Rwanda. I did check all my Rwanda coins. I've got uh, the Nautical Series. I've got the Lunar Dog and Rooster. And I have some of the, and I have to find those. I'm not sure where they are. I hit them so good. Um, I have some of the, the um, I think the Meerkat. I think I had the Meerkat and a couple of others. I'm trying to remember now. I, I didn't go all the way back. I just went back to... The current year issue. I think it was last year. But so far, all the coins that I checked, and the ones I'm most concerned about are obviously the Lunars and the Nautical Series. Because we paid a pretty penny for those. Uh, they have a higher premium to them, and you hate to see them be damaged with a PVC flip. That's crazy. But Hi-Ho Silver did a video. This is the last one in the capsule. These capsules are gorgeous. Well packaged. Perfect for these coins. So, got seven of them here. And I'll go ahead and show you. Pull the camera around so you can see. And yeah, I think these guys are going to do real well. And um, so far, uh, we haven't had any reports of any uh, 
negative things from the the uh, South Korea mint, but I'm really liking these, and um, I'm kind of leaning to go in a different direction. I like to go with things that are quality, that are not potential problems. Anything with a potential problem, I'm just going to move away from. Not worth it. But anyway, that's what I got. Uh, thanks, guys, uh, for watching today. Leave a comment. Give me a thumb up if you like. Leave a comment in the uh, description area or the comment area below. And uh, go make it a great day.